Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be, um, well, this week I'm going to be eating Waitrose food. So if you haven't seen the video already, I did a Waitrose versus Aldi food shop. Um, I tried to um, go to Waitrose and pick up what I would normally buy from Aldi, but obviously buy it from Waitrose and compare the prices. It was really, really interesting. It's very, very interesting. So if you haven't seen that, go and watch that. I've linked it down below for you. Um, but today we're going to be taste testing some of the Waitrose bits that I got in um, just because I thought it's important to like see if it's worth the money, if it's much different from Aldi or if it's if we really enjoy the food. <laughs> um, so to, that's what today's video is going to be, a taste test of Waitrose food. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I'm going to get straight into it today because I'm actually very hungry and I'm about to put something from Waitrose in the oven. Um, yeah, if you're not already, feel free to subscribe, um, give the video a thumbs up, and let's just go. Okay, I'm going to get the um, cookie dough balls out of the freezer, and we're going to make some homemade cookies. Um, these are in comparison to like the cookie dough bites you can get from Aldi. This was like the only sort of similar thing I could find in Waitrose. They're super duper pricey, but I have to say they look really <laughs> good. They look so delicious. So I'm going to get those out now and put them in the oven, and we're going to taste test them, and I'm very excited. So here they are, triple chocolate chip cookie dough balls. And um, preheat your oven, bake one tray at a time. Oh my gosh, 16 to 18 minutes. Put them seven centimeters apart, triple chocolate. It's from the London Dough Company. Oh, I really hope they're good. I really hope they're good. I'm only gonna cook two because I feel like I don't wanna cook them all and then some sort of go to waste because I think these would be best served pretty fresh. So let's cook two and see how they turn out. Oh my god, they look oh, really good. <laughs> Obviously, Lawrence has to join me for this. They um, smell good. They smell good, but look how tiny they are. They are tiny. I actually put them in the oven for a little bit longer than they should have gone because I thought, oh, they're not spreading. Um, we normally make the like New York City cookies from Jane's Patisserie book, and they are, mm. aren't they ridiculous? Yeah, yeah. Um, so how did these look before they went in? They they were like just a in fraction balls. smaller, like little sort of cylinders. Mm. They okay. smell good. Yeah, they do. Um, so I'm going to try them because, mm. ready, triple chop chip. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Nice though. Mm. That gooey in the middle. Mm. Mm. Oh. They are good. Um, how many did you get in a pack? Six. Six. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. They are good. <laughs> they are good. They're very rich. Like, they look small. Mm. But. It's all you need. It's enough. Would you rather eat these mm. for three pound twenty or mm. the cookie dough bites from Aldi for one ninety nine? Cookie dough bites. Even if they were the same price, I'd still go <laughs> cookie dough bites. They're absolutely mm. unreal. Mm, 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 anyway, we'll see you again for our next. They meal. still get a five star. Mm. Mm. Like sort of tame hair for me in the morning. It's first thing in the morning, literally first thing, and we're about to have some of the Waitrose sourdough crumpets. We're eating Waitrose food this week and I really want to let you know how they are. We had a couple the other day and I really liked them. They were really nice. Um, first of all, I always put crumpets straight in the freezer because I just do. It does take a bit longer to cook them, obviously, um, to get the right like sort of consistency and texture. Sometimes I microwave it for like 10 seconds, then I toast it. Um, I really like them. They're nice, they're fairly big. Um, I prefer the Aldi ones only because the Aldi ones are much more fluffier. These are a bit more like dense, whereas Aldi's go like super duper fluffy, um, which I love about them. But I do, I really enjoyed these. Um, they're nice and like, they're not sweet at all. They're more sourdough. They're just, normal crumpets taste very sweet to me now. So yeah, I think they're like a nice sourdough crumpet. We like to have them um, with a bit of like cream cheese and pepper. So that's what we're gonna have this morning because that's what Oren wants. So I'm just gonna copy him and then we're gonna go out for a walk and try and wake up. <laughs> 
We are having about to have some lunch. Well, I'm about to make some lunch and I'm going to be having the falafels from Waitrose. Um, I'm going to make like falafel salad wraps. Just really fancy that. Um, so as I said in the Waitrose versus Aldi shopping video, these were like the cheapest thing in the freezer that I could find. They were on offer. They were £1.75 and the cheapest vegan thing and um, they were in substitute to the Aldi vegan sausage rolls which I absolutely love um, but, but to be fair there's 14 in here let's have a look okay just look like a normal falafel 14 in there um oh with red onion I don't think we have red onion but that looks so good so I'm just going to try and recreate some um delicious wraps with them I've got some leftover Waitrose super seeded wraps, um, which we seeded, to, what do we have? With, oh, we had like these Greek um, chicken wraps the other day and they were so good. So um, yeah, the wraps were nice. They were just the same as the Aldi seeded wraps though. Couldn't really tell much difference. With lemon, cumin and coriander, they sound good. Chickpea, onions, rapeseed oil, parsley, salt, cumin powder, coriander powder lemon juice, black pepper, chili powder. So to be fair, really basic ingredients. Let's get them in the oven. I mean, it looks good, doesn't it? I've got to say, it looks good. Really nice. They definitely have that like um, falafel texture where it goes a little bit dry. Um, but really nice flavour. I can definitely taste like the cumin and lemon. And lemon? The cumin, cumin and lemon. <laughs> really nice. Goes really well with the guacamole. Guacamole and tzatziki from um, Waitrose are really nice. Same as Aldi in my opinion, it's no difference. But um, those are nice falafels, like, it's a good wrap. <laughs> I have just got back from swimming, hence I look incredible, I know. Just about to have the Waitrose pie that cost eight pounds, so um, hopefully it's a really good pie. Um, so it's steak and red wine. Sounds delicious, I have to say it looks Lardons. nice. With some lardons, there's lardons in the Aldi ones as well. Mm. Um, the Aldi one's 3.99. But yeah, it looks delicious. Um, it smells good, so let's serve it up and we'll do a quick taste test. I think you're going to love it. What a nice flavour. Mmm. Mmm. That's really nice. How much was the added one? Three ninety nine. Right. So now I'm going to say, I think this is, I think this is actually nicer. Mm. But it's not twice as nice. Where's all your potato gone? Mm. <laughs> not twice as it's nice. It's not twice as nice. So it's a really nice treat. I think it's super nice. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. Can't mm. deny it. I don't think I'd spend eight pounds on it again though. Because we make pies just as good as this. I don't know, because I do really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I, I I, think this is kind of probably the closest I've had from a supermarket to a homemade pie. Mm. And, Absolutely. And a homemade pie is not a cheap thing to make. You can use cheap bits of meat, you can use old bits and bobs that you've got. But it still works out, so it costs like probably 
I think this is really, really fantastic. Um, I'd be more tempted to spend eight pounds on that again. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> such a strong like um, red wine flavour. Mm, yeah. You want more potato? Do not mean skimping on the filling. No, sometimes you do get Which, like you know we had that with a Tesco pie recently. Oh. Mm. Yeah. It was just a bubble of pastry with a bit of filling in the bottom. Mm. It was kind of a bit. Mm. Um. Very good. Mm. I'd have it again. Yeah. But for eight pounds, I'm a bit like unsure. But it is really, really good. Mm. If you I'd like to that. round off like my thoughts about the um, Waitrose food this week, some of the items um, were absolutely delicious. So like, I say like the pie, which was eight pounds, which was a huge amount of money, was so good. Um, really, really nice. As Lawrence said, he thinks it was a little bit better than um, the Audi pie. Now, what I've realized is the Waitrose pie uses like a red wine and a port, I think, whereas Audi uses ale. Um, so they're actually different flavors. Um, I think both are as luxurious as each other. In terms of flavor, I would say I preferred like the red wine sauce in the Waitrose pie. However, um, I don't think it is double the price. Like. I would happily only ever go to Aldi and get the ale one. I thought the Aldi pie is absolutely delicious. Um, but the Waitrose one is really good. So if you feel like you can justify eight pounds um, on a pie and you want to treat yourself with something, go for it. It's really nice. Um, things like the fruit and veg were interesting. So Aldi um, fruit and veg, I love. I, I do like it. I really like it. However, there were some differences. So like the Waitrose tomatoes, we had some um, plum tomatoes from Waitrose this week. They were really good. They were just like the average, they were really expensive. They were just like the average essential Waitrose plum tomatoes. Um, but they were really nice, like really sweet, really tasty, lots of flavor to them. Um, whereas the Aldi ones I do find, they're just not as flavorful. I don't know, maybe I'm, it's hard with fruit and veg because maybe it's just like the time of year you're getting it. Um, but I thought Waitrose tomatoes were really, really nice. So maybe it's how like they're grown and what, I don't know, GMO, I don't know, but they were really nice. Um, also things like the oranges, the oranges from Aldi are really, really nice, really, really sweet. The Waitrose oranges are absolutely delicious. Like they were absolutely delicious, really nice. Um, and then you've got things like, so for example, like the chicken, the dips, like satsuki dips, the um, guacamole dips, there's absolutely zero difference in flavor and taste, like no difference whatsoever. Um, so I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't see the point in spending more money in Waitrose buying the same dips that you can get from Aldi for much less price. And what was the other thing? Yeah, the chicken um, was, it's hard to tell with chicken, but I can't really see what is too different. And um, for what we could read, the sort of like budget chicken from Aldi has a similar sort of lifestyle than the budget chicken from Waitrose. Um, so yeah, the almond drink from Waitrose is exactly the same as the one from Aldi. So there's a massive price difference there though, like almost a pound. So I, you know, for me, it's just, just crazy to like spend the money on the same product from um, Waitrose, but just pay more. Um, so yeah, it was interesting. I definitely went into it like open-minded. I didn't want to go in just thinking, oh, Aldi, 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 because obviously I love Aldi. I think overall, I definitely couldn't justify just shopping at Waitrose. Like for me, it's, n it's not that different. It really isn't. A lot of products are exactly the same. Some products did stand out as really nice. Um, but obviously they were more expensive, but some products were exactly the same. So um, overall, I'm definitely still team Aldi. <laughs> Although, as I said in my previous video, that all the supermarkets have like sort of good things about them, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so I'd like to do this again with another supermarket. Let me know which supermarket I have to do it with um, next. I really want to do Aldi versus Lidl. I love both Aldi and Lidl. Um, so that's going to be really interesting because obviously they are like sort of in the same category, Aldi and Lidl. It's weird, there's like different categories, isn't there? And Aldi and Lidl are just like in a category together. Um, so it'd be really interesting comparing those two. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you've given it a thumbs up and I'll see you again really, really soon for the next one. Mwah.